What is box seats? Exhaust after treatment system is a significant method to control the automotive exhaust emissions. Box seats is a compact design which provides at least an addition foot on the frame rail, better thermal management, lightweight, and enhanced serviceability having easy access for maintenance and servicing. This system comprises of diesel oxidation catalyst, diesel particulate filter, mixer, two selective catalytic reduction and two ammonia slip catalysts parallel to each other, inline mufflers, sensors for onboard diagnosing, and so on. Diesel Oxidation Catalyst Unit the OC consists of a stainless steel canister with a honeycomb structure called the substrate. The substrate is coated with platinum and palladium to facilitate oxidation. But there is one problem. For the oxidation process to happen, there should be sufficient heat. No, a little more. Keep going. Yup. As you can see the oxidation happens only when the temperature of exhaust gases are above 200 degrees Celsius and this is called as light off temperature. Whenever the oxidation happens at DOC, then the temperature at downstream T5 is higher than the temperature at upstream T4. The increase in temperature indicates correct functioning of DOC. Diesel particulate filter. DPF filters the particulate matter from the exhaust gas. DPF is cordierite wall flow filters made of porous, platinum and palladium coated material that traps exhaust particulates. Channels are made of pores for easy flow. Soot gets trapped into pores, then eventually forms a cake layer on the channel wall. This creates high pressure in the DPF. Differential pressure sensor is connected at the DPF. The pressure tubes are connected at the upstream and downstream of DPF to measure the differential pressure delta P across the DPF. As the soot accumulates inside the DPF, the delta P increases. There is a predefined suit loading map in the ECU, taking into account the distance covered, engine running hours, load, speed, and various other factors. Once the delta P increases beyond a threshold value, the suit will get burned up, and gets converted to ash by a process called as regeneration. Further the gases flows to mixer section through small chamber. Mixer unit this is the section where the diesel exhaust fluid is getting injected onto the exhaust gas. The unit consists of dosing module and mixer section with integrated veins design. The after treatment control module is mounted on upper side and DEF pump is mounted behind the DEF tank. The after treatment control module sends the signal to the dosing module and accordingly the dosing happens. The diesel exhaust fluid injected is evenly distributed through mixer and carried away by exhaust gases creating a swirling effect. When heated by the incoming exhaust gas, the DEF gets converted to ammonia. The gases further moves toward a CR and ASC unit through a chamber where it is uniformly distributed. SCR and ASC unit there are two SCR and two ASC units parallel connected. SCR catalysts are made of copper zeolite material. In this chemical reaction of reduction is selective, which means that out of all the exhaust gas produced, only nitrogen oxide is reduced. The ammonia reacts with nitrogen oxide, and it is converted into nitrogen and deionized water. There is some amount of ammonia that does not take part in the conversion of NOx and flow toward ASC which is an integrated part of SCR. ASC has the double layer coating, first layer is an SCR catalyst made of copper zeolite material, and second layer is an oxidation catalyst made of platinum. It reduces the excessive urea unused in dosing. Platinum plays the role to absorb the excess ammonia. Ammonia is a colorless gas, and toxic in nature, hence it is oxidized to nitrogen, and water. Then these gases are released through the vehicle tailpipe via chambers. Warning. If there is any leakage in DOC section, 
then temperature will not get build up and results in malfunction. Leakage in DPF section. Then there will be wrong reading from delta pressure, which results in unnecessary regeneration cycles and incorrect thermal management. Leakage in the mixer section. This can lead to crystallization or incorrect dosing and lead to malfunction.